All right, KMR, welcome back to the channel. To talk to that brap, we're all about the spicy Doritos. We're talking rotaries. And today we're going to look at this nice 13B half bridge that we have going together for a friend and customer. So this beautiful red and black uh, 13B, it's based off the FD3S USA spec block. Um, is actually being put into an RX-8, or at least I believe that's the intention. And I think that's awesome. Um, if you know like uh, the Rad channel, or Rad's channel, um, you know, he's doing a FD3S engine in an RX-8 as well, and I drifted RX-8s and have street RX-8s, and I love RX-8s, I think they're actually a very underrated chassis. So if you give them a little bit of power, they're quite fun. Um, it's also known that I'm going the other direction right now. I'm building a FD3S with a four rotor because I wanted a classic build. I wanted to build one of the icons. But um, I think this is a really cool engine. It's got a little bit of history. This is actually one of my old race engines. So it was a very aggressive half bridge. Um, we are running a different rotating assembly in here, different rotor housings, different stationary gears. So uh, this particular block being put together for a friend um, I thought it was kind of cool, like, hey, I got this set of side plates that actually ran in Formula Drift. Let's bring them back to life. So that's exactly what we're doing. Um, I was able to lap them up. Um, we added a few more oversized studs to give the block a little more strength. New rotating assembly based off the USA spec FD3S. So uh, low compression um, FD3S turbo rotors matching pair side cut um we're dropping new bearings in um we're gonna polish the shaft and everything's already been balanced by mazda tricks and you can see it's a they're doing nice work very clean um i think they're just using mallory or chunks of metal now so no welding it's really nice looking um and like I was pointing out, it's a fairly aggressive half bridge at this point. It's it's very similar to the template I sell. I just, I optimized the bridge a little more, narrowing up where the corner seal rides just to get a little more airflow back in the day since it was a, a competition motor. We also polished out the, uh, the oil passages, just trying to allow this thing to have the best uh, opportunity to be reliable at high horsepower, high RPM. When I was running it, it did make about 680 horsepower at the wheels, um, T4 based turbo on ethanol. Um, so, I mean, the motor's capable of anything from as low as you want to go, 3, 400, um, well up into the almost 700 horsepower range. And with the oversized studs, balancing, side clearancing, you've got a really nice package that can be reliable, run to 9,500 RPM, sound great, it's got the brap. Um, stationary gears, we're still putting them together. I just pressed in the new bearings and uh, one of them, the, the set screw actually got damaged and it's nice, Mazda Tricks has those on the shelf, you know, classic factory press tools, um, you know, and, and a kind of a unique paint job. Usually I don't uh, paint the aluminum components, but per uh, the customer's request, he, set, he had this idea, sent me a photo and uh, that's the direction we're going. So kind of a really cool car, really cool project, really cool engine build. Once this is together, I'll definitely talk about the motor and show it more. Um, we're still just putting everything together. It is going to be E and J seals, um, pretty much everything else OEM, OEM corner seals, side seals are going to be all hand cut, um, all new springs, OEM gasket set, all that from Mazda Tricks. Um, you know, good stuff on the shelf, ready to go. And just kind of a cool little fact. Uh, the customer who owns this car, good friend, used to work on the race team, still helps out. Um, DLW Motorsports, check it out. And uh, he actually was the winner of, I believe it was the Donut Media FC3S RX-7. So uh, check out his channel and, uh, you know, make sure to, to love that brap. This little brapper's got to get a little more prep work and we're going to go together, but it's a great example of... Uh, basically taking a used engine and completely refurbishing it. Obviously, we lapped the sides, brought everything back into spec, replaced the rotor housings, all new bearings, some balancing, some parts, and bam, like internet magic, you're going to have an almost new race-ready half-bridge FD3S engine. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching.